Hi, I'm Jadi and let's solve another challenge. This one is from the Da Vinci CTF 2022, which was very nice, nice challenges. Unfortunately, none of my teammates are playing and it's only me. As a first, let's first one, let's try and solve one from steganography. This means hiding something inside something else. The challenge is called ICMP, its level is medium and no clue nothing just it's called icmp which we know is the protocol for ping and there is a one pcap file i will download the pcap file the icmp pcap it's downloaded so let's have a look at it when i open it it opens here on the Wireshark. Wireshark can show you pickup files. Pickup files are when you are listening to the network and saving all the packets and you have checked them later. A quick browse shows us that there are very few packets. We have only 64 packets. The last one is a UDP packet with no data inside it. It's very small, so this should be useless. And we have some other ICMP packets. ICMP is for ping. Normally, when we ping somewhere, we conclude that, okay, the connection is working. Connection technically is working. You are connected. But ping is a very, very, very small packet. It goes and returns back with no issue. It's different than if you have a one megabyte file. Your network may fluctuate, may be super busy, and other problems can be there. So. It's better to do a bigger ping. You can configure the payload of your ping. And here you can see our pings. Here I have from this IP to this IP, I have a ping request. And then I get back from two to one a ping reply. And their length is 80. The next one's length is different. Next one's length is different. It's interesting. So we are sending different pings with different payloads. This is the payload. If, you are, if I go for a bigger one, you can see here I'm sending a request, getting a reply. And this is the payload. This payload may be interesting. Let's go and check it. The library we use to read the uh, pickup files is SCAPI. Very, very interesting. You can create packets with this. You can uh, generate packets, send them, or you can read your uh, pickup files. I say from Scappy, I'll import everything. Nobody recognizes this all the time. Nobody has all of this in their mind. I was solving this in the morning, so I know that. I will say, OK, I have this. Now I want to read my packets. Read pickup. Which, which file downloads ICMP. So now I have my packets here. The first one is the first packet I have. I can say, show this. It will show you different layers of this. See, it says there is an Ethernet layer. It goes from this address to this address. There is an IP layer, version 4. This is the length. This is the flags. If you know the IP protocol, this is the protocol inside it, ICMP, from this address to this address. And then there is an ICMP level uh, or layer, which says, OK, this is an echo request. I'm requesting an echo from your side. This is the checksum, ID, and everything. And this is the payload on the raw level. So if I want to reach that payload, I should say, load this is but it's in the binary format so i should decode it decode to utf8 this is the decoded one if i want all of them i can say four packet in packets print packet uh, load decode it as UTF-8. Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry. UTF. 
Ett. And I have one error. Why is that? Because the last packet is a UDP packet and it doesn't have the load. I could have used a Trider or I can just let it be. These are the loads I had. Interesting. I have one of them to have a load as, did you really think you would find a flag with strings? They were thinking that someone may run strings on this. Also something more important. If you are into these kind of challenges, you will see that these are hexadecimal numbers. I'm very sure from this F7 or on the other ones, 41, 6E, 64. So this looks like hexadecimal. I will try to decode this. To decode this, one of the best things we have is an online tool, which is called CyberChef. I copied all of these. I will do a search for CyberChef. It's an online tool to convert co different codings to each other or even decrypting things, encrypting things. Lots of tools, you will see. This is what we had there. We believe this should be hex. So I can say, I can search for hex and say from hex. 51, if converted to ASCII equivalent, that will be T. 75 in hex will be H. So if I convert everything, it will become, this is not the flag, this is not the flag, neither does this package, neither does this. These are part of the payloads. So this is a red herring. If I set the verb, uh, the proverb correctly, these don't have any specific meaning. There is something here, but this is not the answer. Afterward, it says, does this package search a little bit more? You will eventually find, search a little bit more. Do you want me to read a poem for you? It's so beautiful. I have tears in my eyes. And the last part says the flag is not in this part of the package. Sorry. This is life. Okay. So the data we were looking for were not part of the load. What else do we have? These are ICMP packages. Request, this is the size. The size is related to this load, so that it's very difficult to embed data there. But we have something else, the ID. What is the ID? When I request, I say I have a ICMP, please answer to my ping from this to this. This is my payload, and this is my ID for this request. When I get back the answer, the server answers back me with reply with the same ID. So I will know that this is the answer to this reply. And these IDs are changing strangely. So let's check these ones. I will go back to my lovely program. I had this instead of load. I want to print the ID. Mm. Oh, okay, because I'm printing the ID of the TCP layer. Let me bring back my show. Now I'm printing this ID. I need the ID from the ICMP level. So what I should do is say on the packet, on the ICMP level, print the ID. I will get back some IDs and one error because the last one doesn't have the ICMP level. To make things easier, I can do like this and say load equals nothing. Try add. Instead of printing, I will say load add to it the str of this ID because it's a number. Except pass. If it's not working, just pass. And now this is L. This one, again, is very interesting. 90, 90, 72, 72. These are ASCII numbers. We don't have E, F, or something. And with a quick look, I can see ASCII in them. After a while, you will learn to look at, uh, see them quickly too. 
if I want to convert them, I need some spaces here. So I will do this once more. And I will say, do this. Now I have a L. But again, I have 90, 90, 72, 72, 90, 90. It's not very normal. I have each item twice. Why? Because once I have the request, then I have the answer. Then I have the request, then I have the answer. So what I will do is, I will remove some of them. Let's try. Ow. Ah, PS, packets. ICMP show, ICMP type. I only need the echo request type. So if I check the type, type is eight. So I will tell to Scappy to go through all the packets, try this. If P it's packets, ICMP type, equals eight. I just checked it. It's eight. Do this. Now I have this much, much, much nicer. Let's try. We go to the same program. This is not hex. This is decimal. And we have one zero here. This is for that packet with a string in it. If you remember, we had one with zero. It was a text in it. Did you really think? So I'm removing this one. I need the decimal equivalent. So I say two decimal, 90, ow, from decimal, sorry. 90 is Z, 72 is H. This is ASCII table. And when I'm looking at this, this looks nice, but this is not the answer. Again, if you play enough, you will know that this is base 64. And this is converted from base 64 because it has small letters, capital letters. It has some numbers. So I say from base 64, and this is your flag hidden in the ID. What we did was not very straightforward, but it's easy. You have one file. It's only ICMP. So you have only two things to check. You have the length, which is related to this payload. There was nothing there. So it was this ID, which we can manipulate. And we worked with this and found the answer back. This is why it's good to play CTF. You can start learning about protocols. Now you know more about ICMP and you know SCAPI, which is very, very useful in the hacker world. Have fun.